Drive modes are on a dial just to the right of the center cap of the steering wheel. So we have, let's get that zoomed in a little bit, S for Sport and S Plus for Sport Plus, E for E-Power, which is electric, and H for Hybrid. Taking a look at the infotainment screen, very easy to use, very intuitive, and it's not complicated at all, at least not for me. You have the traditional analog clock, and yes, you have another piece of fluorescent green there. Uh, new Porsche design language, gone with the buttons, in with the glass. You do have, well, let's get rid of that uh, fan for a bit so you can quiet things down. A couple of toggles here. You have a uh, dial there. There's your volume scroll wheel. Doesn't look too bad overall. Um, fingerprints will show, but that's the case with anything with glass. And you got your whole passenger side here as well. You can see what you're missing. Um, this does not have the cooled seat option because it's there, but only the heated seat option is lit up. Big chunky gear uh, selector here. Park is a push as opposed to going all the way up. Not too bad. 2022 Porsche Cayenne e-hybrid coupe.